Okay, how should we do this one? Could you use long division? Ah, well, that's a good point, but uh, uh, long division would make sense if the top one is higher degree than the bottom one. So, so for example, if you had something like x squared plus x plus 2 over x minus 1, then you can do the long division. Just like, you know, when you have uh, uh, improper fraction or something like this, and you do the division, and you get 2 and 8 and 1, then you change this into mixed fractions, 2 plus uh, 1 fourth, right? Yeah. Just like that, you, you can rewrite this as like, uh, let me just do this in my head, it's uh, x and then 2, I think, then it's 4. So, so if you do the long division, it, it works like this. But uh, we're not going to do examples like that one. But then if you could do it that way, would you just integrate then, it? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, if, if you want to integrate something like this, then you would first have to do the long division and do it. Now, this doesn't need long division because the denominator is second order and the top one is uh, first order. OK, but anyways, I, I want to explain the challenge of this question. So. If we try to approach this the same way as before, you run into a problem because what was our idea? You, you look at the factors of the denominator and say, oh, I have x minus 2. So I wish this plus something will give you that. But since x minus 2 is the only kind of factor, if you just wrote down b over x minus 2, then you see that there's no way that this could be this form because it's already common denominators, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like even if you tried, let's say you, you really tried, you multiply by x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2, to force the denominator to look like the left side, you're going to see that uh, there's no way to make the top one match with the, the left one because this top one has the property that when you plug in 2 into x, it gets 0, whereas if you plug in 2 here, it's not 0. So they can never be equal as functions. OK, so uh, that's out of the question. And therefore, what you're forced to do is to say a over x minus 2, but the second one would be b over x, Wait, no. x minus 2 squared. Okay. Oh, then another one will cancel, and then you. And then, so, look, look what happens if you if you put these two fractions into one. What do you have to do? You multiply x minus two top and bottom of the first one, don't you? Right. And then you will have this as the denominator. I mean, the only way you can put these two fractions into one is by multiplying x minus two to top and bottom of the first one. Okay. So that that's the form. Okay? Uh, actually. In general, let's say you had like x minus 2 cubed with something on top. What would you do? Would you do x a over x minus 2? And then squared it. b over, yes, the one with the squared. And then c over x minus 2 cubed. Okay. Ah. And if it was 4, then you would do one more and so on and so on. Okay? Okay. That's what you have to do. Okay. okay. Uh, well, it doesn't stop here. So it's a series. Still, uh, there's work to do, okay? So let's try to multiply x minus 2 top and bottom, x minus 2 here, x minus 2, so that this becomes common denominator with x minus 2 in the denominator, and then ax minus 2a plus b. Okay. But then you have a times... Yeah, and then you have 3 equals to a, because ax is the only x term, right? And then you have negative 2a plus b. This one should equal 2. Negative 5. Right? This is the constant term, right? This is the one without x. So it has to match with negative 5. Mm. So 3x should match with ax. And negative 5 should match with negative 2a plus b. And since we have a as 3, you plug it in here, and you get b equals 2. One. Yeah, you can check that that's what you get. Wait, how come we didn't just do the other way we did? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I guess here it's, it's okay. Uh, 
we want to be because 3x yeah, plus Yeah, okay, okay. So, so uh, you, you could also do the, the, the shortcut that we do, which is 3x minus 5 equals to ax minus 2 plus b. And you can plug in x equals to 2, right? But this goes away, and you get b equals to 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. And uh, you can also, well, there's no good numbers to plug in now, but you can plug in 0. If you plug in 0, you get negative 5 on the left side, and you get 0, you get negative 2a plus b equals to negative 5. Oh, which is the same thing as that one. But we have b as 1, so negative 5 equals to negative 2a plus 1. Subtract 1 and divide by negative 2, you get a equals to 3. So we have to plug in 2 for all of them, for all three. Because x equals to negative 2, or x, x minus 2. We have two unknowns, a and b, and right. x equals to 2 is one thing that we plugged in, and, and to get the next one, we plug in x equals to zero. How can x equals to zero again? We don't have any other numbers to plug in, and we okay. still have to find b. Uh, we have a question. Sir. Yes. So why would the first one write plug in three with a? Oh, uh, you just compare the coefficients. Three x minus five has to equal to a x minus two a plus b. And the only one term with x in it is a x. That's the hint. That has to be same as 3x. So what can a be? a has 3, 3. Actually, that way is faster in figuring out the coefficient a equals to 3 than doing it that way. So you can, you can immediately get it from comparing the coefficients, and you can get the second result b equals to 1 by plugging in the value. I have a question. Yes. Could you find the coefficient and then just go to that one? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that's what we can do. So. So compare the coefficients, say a is 3. And then you move on to this one, and then plug in 2, and you get b equals to 1. It's faster. Just it's faster to do, do it this way. I have another question. We'll, 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 we'll have some examples that do that. Yes. Anyway, if it was, if it was, would, oh, wait, never mind, because we wouldn't have an x squared on top, right? We wouldn't have those, right? Uh, so if, if, it, if this had x squared on top, then it would be the case when uh, there was a question. They have the same degree. In that case, you have to do the long division. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. So you, you will, uh, we will only do the case when the numerator has a smaller degree than the denominator. Okay. Did we already talk about long division of stuff like that? Huh? Did we already talk about long division of stuff like that, or was that? It, if the top has the same degree as the bottom, you have to, or, or if the top has bigger degree or same degree, you have to do the long division. That was our initial discussion. Okay. Here it's not, it's, it's a lower degree. The top has degree one, right? Yeah. I'm, this is degree two. This is just the first time I've heard of long division of like fractions like that, like like multi polynomial. That's, a, that's actually a whole different class. It's, okay. it's, uh, it takes a like, while to explain, okay? All right, so anyways, uh, let's move on. So what, what are we getting? We see that, that 3x minus 5 over x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 over x, x minus 2 plus uh, 1 over x minus 2 squared. And therefore, integrating this one is same as integrating this. And you want to write this as 3 times integral of 1 over x minus 2 dx plus integral of, you want to rewrite this as x minus 2 to the negative 2 power dx because for this one you want to use the power rule, okay? So for this one, it's 3 times ln of the denominator because this one is f prime over f type. For this one, you add 1 to the exponent which is negative 1, and then you put the reciprocal of that number in front, so it's uh, 1 over negative 1, x minus 2, negative 1, okay? I add 1 and put the reciprocal. That's how we do this calculation, right? That's the power rule, right? Integral of x to the n is you add 1, put the reciprocal in front. So that's what I'm putting here. And then plus c. So the final answer is this will be minus, and then this you want to rewrite it as you put it back into the denominator. So that's the final answer.
はい、こ